What is going on everybody and welcome back. Glad you're here as always. We're hoping that you are staying healthy, staying safe out there. In the meanwhile, we are indoors trying to bring you some value and some behind the scenes of what is going on behind uh, various profession in this world. And today we actually have three familiar faces with us again. Uh, Ramses, Robin and Ronan, the three co-founders of Kibo are back here again. We saw them in the very first episodes of uh, the Kibo podcast actually. So glad to have you guys back. Um, very nice that you guys could all take a time uh, off out of your schedules to be here. Um, today actually we have a really cool follow-up uh, kind of podcast because when we first talked then uh, Kibo was in development and getting the app ready. Now actually Kibo has reached um, a little bit of a milestone stage in terms of credibility um, because you guys just had uh, your Y Combinator interview yesterday. Correct. Yeah. Yesterday, yeah. <laughs> so first of all, congrats. I think that's a huge, a huge thing um, for all the people who are not into the startup scene and don't know what Y Combinator is, why it's such a big deal. Um, just quickly, Y Combinator is um, Accelerator or a seed money startup accelerator, if you're uh, not familiar, and it helps startups uh, get seed funding. So like the first big cash influx that you need to get your startup off the ground properly. Just to add a little bit credibility, uh, the likes of Airbnb, Dropbox, Webflow, Twitch, Reddit, Coinbase, so just to name a few, all those launched um, through uh, Y Combinator. It's kind of like the big boys league, if you wanna call it that. and. Um, Maybe you guys, since you guys prepared a little bit better, do you happen to know how many um, applications uh, there are per year? Because there are two batches, right? Summer and winter applications. Um, how many applications are we talking about? How many get an interview and how many then actually make it into YC? But kind of like, I think this year was the most applications they've ever received. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, I, I, think uh, like I heard rumors that it was 50,000 plus this year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for, for for one batch only, right? So not for both. Um, I think usually it was ten thousand. Yeah, around ten thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And about five percent of those get an interview. So we were in the top five percent. Uh, that's estimated, right? It's not official numbers. And then the top one percent usually gets in. That is that is not a lot. So that also shows the <laughs> the selection criteria. Uh, you know, so <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, the selection criteria is quite um, rigid. So that's why it's even more um, such a big deal and why I wanted to get you guys back on the podcast, talk about it. Because as we just mentioned, not a lot of companies get the chance um, to experience what you guys just experienced yesterday. Yeah. And before we jump into this whole experience, we first have to lay some uh, foundations for the people who are not familiar with Kibo. I would ask you to give um, just a general description of what the company is, what it does, and then um, what you think makes it so special that we even get a shot at YC. Uh, so we're living in Kibo, which is the app you're all familiar with. <laughs> and Kibo is the career coaching app that you'll use your entire life. Uh, what we do is we coach young people toward a job that they're super, ha super happy at and that fits them the best. Um, and why we believe that we got into YC is because we're making career coaching, which is often some, some things that other, only a couple of people get, available for everyone and also for an entire different generation. Um, so that's what we do. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's not a lot of uh, companies like that out there right now who are trying to do the career coaching to the extent that uh, we want to take it. So I think that's definitely one thing that sets us apart. And maybe one thing why we got chosen for the interview. But let's let's take a step back. And before we get to the interview, we have to apply, right? Or, or you guys as the co-founders, you had to apply for it. Yeah. So um, what is what is the application process like? Like what's important? What do you send in? Do you send in your CV and motivation letter? Well, what do you send in? <laughs> no, it's, it's a list of questions. Uh, I think there is about 30 questions, uh, something like that. In general, it takes about two to three hours to fill in the whole thing. Uh, and they ask them basically the, the basic questions. They just want to get to know your company. Uh, so what do you do? What is your traction? Who are you guys? You know, why do you do this? Um, how is the shares? How are the shares divided? Do you have revenue? Those kind of things. Um, yeah, so I, we a while ago, 
I think it was almost a deadline day. I think we applied on the deadline day. I think it was two hours before the deadline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On my combinator, uh, we decided to do it. Uh, so yeah, I think we're one of the last companies to apply. <laughs> um, but we've always been fans of my combinator because they, they also always publish their content online. They have a free startup school, like a free version of my combinator uh, for everyone to watch. And that has been our guide since the very beginning. Uh, to all make decisions since, since the early stages of the startup. Uh, so that's why we're like, yeah, we weren't really looking for an accelerator per se, but Y Combinator is Y Combinator, so let's try it. And yeah, we send out the application on a deadline day, and then two weeks or three weeks later, I'm not sure, uh, we got an acceptance uh, email. Yeah, like, I mean, Ramses and I, for example, we completely forgot that we applied for, for Y Combinator, and now it just comes in like, yo, guys, we have an interview. <laughs> Interview for what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I call it. Oh, damn! Okay, nice. Yeah, that's really good. That is that is so crazy. This is so crazy. But like, so you you sat down on the day of the deadline and just started writing. Like, what are we talking about? Like those questions? Are we talking about like a five page letter or um like uh, no, a whole no. due diligence document? Like, what's going on there? they kind of made their own version of Google Forms, if you will, you know, so it's just a couple of questions and just a box where you can type into it. It's really basic. Uh, and then they always ask the founders to make a one minute video about yourself. So only one minute, nothing else unedited. So we, we were in the same place at that time. So we actually recorded a zoom meeting of ourselves, just introduction, introducing ourselves one minute. I am, I am Robin. This is Ronan. This is Brandis and we're building Kibo and then we're telling what Kibo is and that is it. Uh, then you also have to give a demo video of your, of your product, so showing how it works. Uh, yeah, that's really it. And then we, we send it out. So it's really easy. And you don't have to know anyone with YC in order to apply. Every company in the world can apply uh, and also get it if they want to. Yeah. But that being said, there is a bit of a secret to applying to YC. You know? um, it's very, very different from any other accelerator or incubator out there. Um, the like the type of questions and the type of, more the type of answers that they expect is really down to the exact things that they're asking. So you don't start the conversation, you don't start the the, the answer with um, well, like you know, we're going to start building the story and uh, you know, it's to to set the scene. We're going to talk about this and this. No, it's directly to the point. And uh, yeah, I mean, excuse my language, but no bullshit. <laughs> um, like you really want, uh, like, like they really want to see that the founders are genuine, uh, that they know what they're talking about, and uh, that they're concrete in their answers and can say what needs to be said uh, within one sentence, basically. In little words, as, as little words as possible, indeed. And yeah, a lot of startups they they use jargon like uh, AI. Uh, blockchain, you know, they, they start to platform like all those words that don't really say anything. He's a uh, marketplace. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of a lot of different things that you're like, okay, so, so you you told, just told me 50 words and I have no idea what you're doing, really nothing. Uh, That's what a lot of startups do, and and basically we did the opposite. We use really down to earth language. So someone needs to understand what you're doing, even if they've never heard about you. Uh, that is how YC works. All right, that is that is great insight, and I think this uh, down to the point type of mentality also carries through towards the interview, as we'll discuss. Um, <laughs> we'll discuss in just a second. Um, before that, just to put it a little bit into perspective, so you said how the style of YC, the the application style, is really to the point and and grounded. Um, no big words to try to impress people. Yeah. Um, in the recent past. Kibo has also went through um, an incubator program, actually um, in ACE, ACE, yeah. ACE Incubator. So the um, Amsterdam Center of Entrepreneurship Incubation Program, which is also relatively well known here in the area, um, one of the biggest incubators in the Netherlands. How was it there with the application process? Um, were there stark differences to, to YC or not? There were less questions for sure. Uh, although they expected a pitch deck, so that was kind of different. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember, right? We even had uh, also an in-person pitch. It was not 10 minutes or any, uh, like, it was really different. <laughs> it, was, it was a genuine conversation. It was a conversation, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> the, so just to inform you guys, YC interview is 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and that's it. Like, on, on the 10th minute, they say, okay, guys, that was it, see you. Uh, so, <laughs> and in those 10 minutes, they literally decide whether they want to invest in you and, and get you in their program or not. Um, that wasn't our experience with Ace Incubator. 
Uh, also, they forgave us when we used their startup jargon because, yeah, back then we still thought it was good. <laughs> um, it was it's really a, a different stage. It's in the very beginning of your startup. And uh, Y Combinator is, I mean, they also accept founders that don't have anything yet, but they should be really good at explaining what they what they do and also probably already have a very good background in that. Um, yeah. All right, that, that is crazy. Ten minutes? For, for I mean, such a huge decision, if you get into YC exactly. or not, yeah. it's um, oh, it's get goosebumps, man. It's so <laughs> sick, it's so scary. Yeah. If you only have ten minutes for the interview, uh, what what do you prepare? What do you? Is there any way that you can you can kind of guess what they're going to ask you? Like, what questions uh, do you prepare? Um, a lot of questions. <laughs> um, so actually, there's a like there's a couple of repositories. Um, I think even on GitHub um, that have like a bunch of different questions uh, that have come up in the past, and we took all of these questions together and just prepared every single one of them. Uh, you know, like um, I obviously focus a bit more on the marketing questions. Robin just on the overall strategy of the of the company and, and the financial aspects. Yeah. And then Ramses uh, looked deep into the tech. Um, and yeah, I mean, we'll talk about the interview a bit later, but uh, it was very different than what we expected. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, one of the people that really helped us in in, uh, in preparing for this is Oliver Binkhorst. So we just want to shout out to him. If you're a Dutch company that gets into uh, YC, uh, go to him. We'll put his uh, uh, website below here. Uh, really great guy. Really great guy. So yeah. that was, he was one of the, the people who gave us a list of questions. And also what we did too uh, was talking to YC alums. So people who already went through the program, uh, we got a lot of support from those people and they actually did a test interview with us. So we did six of those uh, with people who are either went through the program or went through an interview and got rejected. Um, 10 minutes timer and they just like asked us as many questions as possible. So nice that you had uh, mock interviews, that you had uh, access to those resources. I definitely put um, the contact down below for you guys to check it out. Um, if you if you prepare for those questions, right? And 10 minutes, I don't know, um, is there, do you, do you expect, do you expect 10 questions or like, or like do you expect two questions, two big questions? Um, yeah. We, we uh, expected, around 30 questions in that time. Uh, real life, it was actually not that case. Uh, it kind of depends on what partner you're talking to, really. And because uh, usually it, it really like, yeah, if you're, for example, talking to Michael Seibel, we've heard, which is the CEO of Y Combinator, uh, he really likes a quick fire. Like, okay, uh, what do you do? Why are you doing this? Basically, basically every 10 seconds, you have to answer a new question. Uh, over the span of 10 minutes, it gets very intense, obviously. <laughs> um, we had a little longer to answer, but that also means we could address less topics within those 10 minutes. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then how do you, how do you prepare? Like everybody, everybody, like, cause these really concise answers, you, you don't have time to really think about it, right? You can't be, um, well, I think that, uh, in our oh, case, uh, this would be the yeah. case, right? Yeah. So it has to be all like this. Is it? Did you guys uh, learn it by heart? Did you make like bullet points, like little cards that you can learn or like Actually, what, what did you do? Uh, you can talk about what you did. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> we made a quiz list and we yeah. every question and answer in there. I think we had a total of uh, almost a hundred questions. Yeah. Um, we learned all of them by heart, uh, more or less. And then, you know, we just repeated them over and over again. Yeah. I think what's, what's very important to take away here is that um, you know, like you do spend a lot of time preparing for these questions. You spend a lot of time preparing for this YC interview, but in truth, what you're doing is you're getting to know your company in and out. Yep. Uh, like this entire process of preparing for it, it has made us realize and think about aspects of our company that we just hadn't thought about before, you know? And we actually feel right now that uh, we know exactly what to do in the next coming months and how, how we, like how we are going to become a billion dollar company, which is uh, what I, which is what YC wants. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's why like for us before the interview, it was like, okay, no matter how it goes, this process was so worth it. Yeah. And uh, we're very thankful for the opportunity, but at the same time, we're very thankful to ourselves as well, because we, you know, took the effort, like we, we put in the efforts to, to prepare. Um, and now we're better equipped for the coming months to come. We love our company even more now. 
No, I'm just, mm. <laughs> well, that's good. Not that you dig too deep and then you find out, oh, this company doesn't work actually. But no, it's, it's great to hear. It seems like applying to Y Combinator is a is a win win. Like, well, it was one of the best decisions we've made for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, on the deadline day. On the deadline day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so crazy. Actually, low pressure to uh, super right? <laughs> Diamonds are made under pressure, eh? That's right. <laughs> but um, in terms of uh, prep questions, you said, for example, Ronan, uh, because he's the CMO, he focused on marketing. Uh, First, uh, first and foremost, then you have uh, Ramses, who's the CTO, so he handles the the tech part. Um, is it is it that uh, each of you just answers in in their domain if the question comes, or how do you structure it that you don't speak over each other as soon as the question comes? Uh, for example, I don't know um, what's your growth strategy, and then everybody's just like, oh, this and this and this, and then. You know, it's and a what was our strategy, Robin? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we we tried to implement a strategy here. Okay, we tried multiple things. <laughs> so, so at first year in the market interviews, we saw that I literally couldn't stop talking when when any, every, anybody asked us a question. I was always like straight away. I said the answer, you know, and uh, I didn't give the other guys a chance to talk, which was not good. So that was the first try. Uh, then, then we divided up all the questions. Uh, and that didn't work either because obviously we didn't remember who had exactly what question. <laughs> just, just sit there like. <laughs> so was. <laughs> then the third try, we were like, okay, so if you want to speak, you put your foot forward, <laughs> right? On the under, under the table, right? under the table, uh, or you you bump each other if you want to, you want someone else to to speak. That didn't work either because obviously, like in ten minutes, it's so intense. You don't think about putting your foot forward, like absolutely not. And then somehow, I don't know how, but in the end, we were just like, okay, let's just go with the flow. Uh, Robin, wait two seconds every time you ask someone asks you a question, unless you're sure that you're the one that to answer. Uh, that's what I did. You know, I, I I counted 21, 22 in my head. And then if no one else responded, I would respond. Uh, and that actually was uh, the golden tip. <laughs> oh my God. That is, that is, that was the final strategy. It's so funny. It's like something that, um, your high school teacher tells you, right? It's yeah. like only Jonathan is answering Jonathan, please count to five before you answer <laughs> Get the others a chance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny that that ended up being, um, the strategy, but yeah. I went like Ronan already told me, um, that you guys did also some exercises or some things, worked on some things that you wouldn't really <laughs> think of, right? So he mentioned enunciation exercises to... Yeah. Uh, uh, we were recording of the lead up to the interview, uh, which I'm sure you're going to put a couple of clips into, into this as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your cracks out of you. I think I'm going to make it best today. It was a pleasure working with you guys. Getting the side, man. Either way, man, this is something we're gonna look back on right. when we're 80 years old for telling our children. Like, I was calm two seconds ago. <laughs> it's <laughs> ups and downs. <laughs> Guys, we have two minutes left. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> they could literally let us in any second. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. right. It's all right. It's all right. Far, ra. Losing your lips. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Whether the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. Definitely make a compilation out of this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the reason why we did this was just because we were so nervous uh, that we didn't know what to do with ourselves. And we were like, what if we cannot speak or pronounce, pronounce, pronounce the words well? You know, what if we start talking too fast? Uh, and then Ramses, I don't know where he found it, but he found some exercise. <laughs> he, he just Googled it, okay. And then <laughs> we just made a fool of ourselves just before the interview. So it was a whole, it was a whole process just before the interview. We were sitting there 15 minutes before and we were so nervous. We were like, okay, we need to do something and we're talk about things. And uh, yeah. It's like, it's like, you know, uh, um, like when you, were, when you were in school and you got sent to the principal, 
and then you were waiting you were waiting outside the principal's office for like five to ten minutes like it just takes so long like <laughs> the time just doesn't move you know yeah. you're just like oh god what's gonna happen you know like yeah not yeah. that that happened to me too often <laughs> <laughs> only now if you if you do well uh, you get one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars and you go into one of, one of the most prestigious accelerator of the world so that's like even <laughs> yeah there was a positive payoff too. <laughs> that was a positive payoff that's next yeah. level but um i mean that were there any other peculiar exercises or tricks that you guys did besides the annunciation and the strategy of who talks so you guys don't uh, tumble over each other honestly really we just uh, try to distract ourselves yeah. like, uh, <laughs> if, like we would go through like these different uh, phases of like you know me being calm, Robin being kind of in the middle, Rams just freaking out, and then everything would just change around, and like I'm running around the room like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, what's what's uh, what's the time frame like? When did you guys decide to actively start preparing for the interview? Because so yesterday, um, the 10th of December, um, yeah. if this episode gets released next week, according to plan, but so you guys know, 10th of December was the interview. How long did you prepare in advance? Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks actively. I think we started officially a month. We had our first mock interview, just and we didn't prepare for that one, just to see how it is uh, and to get a first idea and what the most, the, the biggest points are that we should work on. Uh, and then we started filling in the questions, and then the two weeks before our interview, we had the most mock interviews uh, to prepare. Yeah. All right. And then li literally every day we went through the, the question set. And our answers and see how we can make it shorter and more clear and in more concise and uh, language and, and this was exactly the process where it also became clearer to us what yeah. we were actually working on you know um so you know even if you're not planning on applying to yc or any other incubator or accelerator for that matter uh try it because it'll it'll put a hyper focus on what you're actually doing you'll be able to differentiate the the valuable parts of your business from the non-valuable parts and it'll just give you a much clearer image of uh, where you want to head. Yeah. All right. And then in, in those two, uh, two weeks, uh, you mentioned every day you were going through that. What are we talking in terms of, of hours? Like how many hours are cramped into those two weeks? Because it doesn't seem a lot, right? Two weeks uh, to prep for such a big thing. I don't think that much. Actually. I really don't remember. Yeah, like an hour and a half, two hours a day or so, because Okay, and this is the other part. Don't over prepare for a YC yeah. interview because they want to see you working on the product. Yeah. Um, and after all, you know, like the best, the best marketing tool, the best uh, way to promote yourself to anyone is if you have a kick ass product. Um, that's what will get users. That's what will get users to refer you. Um, and uh, that's also what's then going to attract, uh, you know, investors and the like. So we want to make very sure that we didn't over focus on this interview because that's in the end that's, that's still what it is it's an interview you know yeah and that we kept the focus on what is what is the important part of our company and that's the product yeah right in the in the two weeks then did you ever feel like you're running out of time like the deadline is coming so fast we need to cram more hours in or or was that you felt like a good amount of time to prep no i think i, I felt pretty comfortable no, no. yeah it's fine yeah i think so too uh because in the end it's about your company right it's basically a conversation about who you are what your company is and who else knows that better than yourself um it was just about formulating it in the most clear way possible in that sense uh, but what ronan says like other than that we just fully focus on the product because what the best sign is uh, for y combinator is that you didn't only focus on them but had, for example, 128% user growth, which was our metric from the last weeks. And I uh, six for, no. <laughs> we had a lot of other metrics that we, that we, that we kind of just run with the <laughs> <laughs> But that is, that is the best sign to them and not that you spent three weeks preparing for them and didn't do anything else. Yeah, that makes sense. So you go through this preparation process, the day comes, yesterday finally arrives, right? You get yeah. in there. Um, first of all, is it a Zoom call? What is it? Is it Skype? Zoom call. Yeah. yeah. It's a Zoom call? <laughs> That's normally, so funny. Normally, um, they fly you out to, to San Francisco. Yeah. And they pay yeah. everything for you. So like the flight, the Uber, the hotel. 
everything. That would be so yeah. amazing. For 10 minutes, 10 minute interview, right? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> so we were, we were quite upset about this whole uh, Corona thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As you yeah. <laughs> I can imagine, man. Holy hell. I would, uh, I would also be so upset. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But so you're in the Zoom call, right? You start the Zoom call. Who is greeting you? Like you already said, um, the interview, the questions might depend on uh, who you have in front of you, right? Which which partner of uh, YC, but like how many people are there? Investors in there? Are there like, like what am I looking at when I get into the Zoom call? Uh, we were with four people and you see that there's all four kind of have a different area of expertise. Uh, so there was someone in there uh, for finance, actually CFO of Y Combinator was in our call. Uh, there was a software engineer, uh, we had someone who was more into outreach, for example, the first employee of Reddit, uh, actually, uh, Kat Manilak was in there. Um, we had the president, uh, so Jeff was in there. Uh, yeah, so like four different uh, areas of expertise. And the two people, well, especially one person talked the most, and then another person talked a little bit, and then the rest didn't say anything. They just All right. observed. Yeah. And what was, what was quite interesting is that we like we got let into the Zoom call, and uh, you know, like Ro Ro Robin has seen all of them in different talks, and so he was like, "Oh, there's some familiar faces here." Okay, we only have ten minutes, so let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> they don't they don't do small talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's, and then that's another thing. Like, what is uh, what is the mood like when you get in there? Is it like very professional? It's like okay, ten minutes. We're gonna start asking questions now, or is it a little bit more casual? Is it friendly or is it maybe even borderline hostile like they, they're really trying to challenge you it really depends on them. I, yeah i think it depends but for us i think it really was quite casual like they drilled us for sure like, <laughs> it was uh it was hard but they were relatively casual mm -hmm. yeah i think the first three or four minutes uh, we were just sitting here like oh god <laughs> this is going so much worse than expected <laughs> It was, yeah, then it, it turned into a conversation. We started feeling easier. Yeah. All right. Nice. And are they are they all dressed up in in suits or are they wearing um, t-shirts? This is this is startup world, man. Like yeah. uh, t-shirts, maybe a hoodie. Like us, uh, like us right now. That's yeah. how we are they dressed. Yeah. All right. You never know. It it baffles my mind every time when I think about. It. I mean, I'm also never really actually, dressed up. But like one guy was actually exactly dressed like you. Just fun fact. Really. Like, yeah, <laughs> the software engineer. Well, I guess I could do a Y Combinator interview next. There you go. <laughs> no, next but career road, man. <laughs> how is it um, with this ten-minute time constraint? Like, how serious do they take it? Do they have a, like like an alarm clock and they go boom, times times on now, and then when it rings, they're like done, or what is it like? They didn't have no clock or anything, but they, they really were like, we got in the call, we tried to make small talk, no, like, let's start. And then at the 10, 11 minute mark, they're like, okay, you're done, thank you, bye. Yeah. And they hung yeah. up. Really? Yeah. 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 It, was just, it was just done over, okay, see you later. Yeah. See you later. Wow. No, it's no, like, like. Five minutes. We were like, okay, but what? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I <laughs> But we didn't even tell you about our company. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and that's also why they jump straight in, of course, right? Because they don't have a lot of time. There's so many startups that apply and they want to spend as much time as possible on you and your company and understanding what you do. Yeah. I think what's also very important to note is that um, much of the advice that we received throughout preparing for this was, uh, yeah, they're going to drill you with like 30, 40 questions. They're all going to be quick fire, you know, know all of your metrics, know the market size, blah, 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 which you should, you know, like you really, really should. Like you have to know all of this. But what they did for us is that um, they took a look at our application and they picked out like two or three, two or three points, um, in our case, I think it was two, mm -hmm. which they weren't entirely convinced by. And they made the entire interview about us trying to convince them that those two points are no longer a point of concern. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is something that we didn't hear from anyone else. Um, did not expect. Did not expect at all. So. You know, like we had all of our short fire answers ready. We had uh, we had our metrics ready, and then suddenly we get these like, okay, so tell me about the process of this. Like, how will you how will you approach this? And it's like, okay, <laughs> you know, like how are you going to make sure that users come back every single day? Like, you know, like we had all of the short answers, but then like when they kept it came asking, to, like yeah. more detail, more detail, more detail, yeah. more detail. We're just like. Oh, at some point, <laughs> we're running out of detail. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
Man, but that's wrong. There is is basically we have all the topics and one sentence answers, but then we should have expected or made like follow up answers for the most concerning topics, and then like thinking about okay, what could they be concerned about? What could they ask further about this these things? Because uh, when that happened, we were literally caught off guard. Uh, I think out of the ten questions they asked us. Eight questions were not in the 10 page sheet that we prepared. It wasn't on the exam. Like, not at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that is like pressure is on, I yeah. would say. Like, <laughs> not prepared. Well, but um, yeah, this, this is why it's so great to have um, you guys on here talking about this, right? Because 5% go to the interview and then those 5%, what's out there isn't even what you guys experience. So <laughs> it's, I think it's, it's so cool and so unique and valuable to have like your actual insights here of how it is, because it's for everybody, it's different and you might expect different things, but yeah, it's, it's um, insane how much you guys prepared with this long list of questions and just, yeah. they just dove into um, those things. Did you, did you have any um, troubles though, like on the spot? Yes. You say? Oh, definitely. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they didn't understand what we were doing for the first four minutes of the interview. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah I, I think that definitely didn't help. <laughs> uh, so, so apparently, even though we tried to make it as easy as possible, uh, we still didn't make it in, in clear enough language. Still, and the, and we 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 tried to make it as, as clear as possible, right? And not be like they're super smart, right? So they'll get usually they they'll get it in, in a second, uh, but. Imagine you're you're interviewing like 20, 30 startups in a day. Uh, then you really need easy language. You, you, can, you cannot go with the very long sentences or like uh, going into jargon, the abstract, exactly yeah. jargon. Um, so that was one of the mistakes uh, that we made for sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then talking a little bit more about this hindsight that you have now, right? One day after the interview, nerves have a little bit calmed down. You get a little bit more irrational thinking back on it um what would you say for also the companies out there who are maybe in the process or thinking about applying it or even those companies who have maybe already have an interview date with uh, yc now for the coming batch what did you learn from this experience like these discrepancies between expectance uh, uh, the expectations that you guys had um what's like your takeaway there i think it's really um for us it was the long-term like long-term vision of our company but not just like I'm, I'm not talking like five years i'm not talking 10 years i'm talking what are you going to do in the next year and how are you going to do it um and to be able to to examine that in in such detail as they require um that is something that uh, that, that we really struggled with at the start and i think that's that's something that that's a skill set that we that, that we built up yeah um so I don't think we're going to make that mistake again. I don't think uh, we're going to make the mistake again of not th not thinking that they would ask more questions about a certain topic. Yeah, yeah. Because we just to be clear, uh, I don't know if we said that already, but we did not get accepted <laughs> for for this batch. We will reapply, and that is also one of the learnings that we have. Uh, actually, quite a lot of companies that apply with at first they get rejected, and then take that feedback and work on it, get accepted the next time. Yeah. Uh, right. So one example is even also on YouTube, their story uh, is on there as well as Webflow. Amazing company, super, super big, uh, is a YC company too. They got rejected the first time without even getting an interview. Um, and then they only got in the second time. Right. So then you see a lot of examples of those. I think I even read about a guy that got in the seventh time he applied. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, like why, uh, there's life after YC. We learned a lot from it. Uh, one of the best decisions we've made still, even though we didn't get accepted and we'll apply the next time again and show them that we uh, made progress. Because they, yeah. do, they do give detailed feedback about why they didn't accept you yet uh, and what you can work on. Yeah, because that would have been my next question because it, if, if, they, if they do that, then it's just like a win, 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 win. Like you prepare, you learn more about your company. Um, if you get accepted, fantastic. If you get rejected, you learn even more about your company. Then you do it again, you learn more about your company, you know what to do better. And then the whole process just goes until you get accepted in the seventh time, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you force yourself to be the best version. You can fingers crossed, it's all seven times yeah, for us. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, but yeah, imagine you get flown out seven times. That'd be funny. <laughs> That's perseverance. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for uh, sharing this, like, super unique. Like, I think um, every every person we have on this podcast is unique in their own way because they have their their own story. Um, but there are a lot of entrepreneurs out there. But I think only a handful um, of selected entrepreneurs can say that they've gone through the process and have been to a YC interview and Definitely. have yeah. uh, come back alive to talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> we need to catch up on sleep to make sure it uh, stays yeah. that way. Yeah. But uh, I think we'll, we'll live. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. Um, is there any uh, last pieces of advice, any uh, last thoughts that you want to share with the people out there then? Now it's your time to do that. I would say that no matter what stage you are, apply. Apply for Y Combinator. Um, they take companies also without having any revenue, uh, without having users. Uh, and again, it forces you to think about your company. Uh, you will probably get a lot of good feedback out of it. So do it. It's a, it's a great decision. Of course, if you want to want to prepare, then reach out to us. We we can help you. Uh, we went through it once now, <laughs> and we can point you to our people who went through it multiple times. Even I'll definitely put all the links in the description below, so you guys can reach out uh, to these three if you want. Um, feel free to check out uh, the app as well. What makes us special? Uh, this podcast is um, is a, a long term thing, so we've been having a lot of fabulous guests on. The podcast now it's on youtube if you've seen this on youtube if you're hearing it then it might be spotify google podcast apple podcast whatever you can imagine we're probably on it so feel free to go find us there see what other people have been up to we have various professions until now in our portfolio and that wraps things up for now again you three thank you so much for coming back taking your time to be here sharing your pieces of hmm thanks for having us <laughs> yeah my my pleasure no but yeah until the next time everybody out there you take care and you three will probably talk soon and yeah until then take care and we're out thanks guys Bye. Bye. <laughs>